The types of pumps we normally use are called positive displacement. And that means that the pump isolates air at the inlet and displaces it to the exhaust. To compare the performance of different machines, we have to ask a simple practical question. How much air can it move in the amount of time that the pump is running? But to answer that, we need to agree on how we're measuring it. And it helps to think about how the pump works. Imagine a compressor pumping air into a vessel. During each rotation of the screw, it grabs a fixed inlet volume from atmosphere and squeezes it, compresses it into the vessel at the exhaust. The simplest way to describe the performance of that machine is to measure the volume of air it can take in and measure what pressure it can squeeze that air up to at the chamber. If you look at performance figures, you will find free air delivered. That's the volume of atmospheric air displaced in a given time and the maximum pressure the pump can generate at the outlet. Because the inlet conditions are fixed, atmospheric pressure and ambient temperature, that volume figure at the inlet is directly related to the number of molecules being displaced. So a compressor performance figure tells us more than just volume. It describes throughput. That's the quantity of air displaced by the machine. Now imagine a vacuum pump pumping air out of a chamber. It operates in exactly the same way as a compressor. Each rotation of the screw grabs a fixed inlet volume and squeezes it to a higher pressure at the exhaust. Only now, instead of taking that inlet air from atmosphere and compressing it to a vessel, it's taking the air from a sealed chamber and compressing it to atmospheric pressure. Every time the vacuum pump removes some air, the rest of the gas molecules in the chamber will spread out a bit and when the air spreads out, the pressure drops, and that's how the pump creates vacuum. To compare the performance of vacuum pumps, we use the same method as with compressors. We measure the volume of air coming through the inlet for a given time, and what is the limit or the minimum inlet pressure that the pump can operate at once that air is removed. However, because the pressure at the inlet is changing all the time as gas is removed, an actual volumetric flow rate is not directly related to the quantity of air molecules. When the pressure in the chamber is reduced to half of atmospheric pressure, the density of gas remaining in the chamber is also half. So for every turn of the screw, only half the number of gas molecules are actually passing through the vacuum pump. So when we compare vacuum pumps, we define the units with the word actual. And that means the flow measured at the inlet pressure of the pump. It means that when we're comparing pumps, we always need to think of more than just the nominal flow. We need to know what is the working pressure at the inlet of the pump. 